So that's a segment that we do after Freshly Squeezed. Shit, we don't care about. Think of the shit that happened this week that you just don't give a flying fuck about. I don't give a fuck about the bonnet thing. Woo, oh wait, we're so coming to that. Okay, we're, we're here. <laughs> do, do you want to do it now? We're or just going to jump right in. We're, we're here. We'll say freshly squeezed for the end. I yes. don't, I don't, I didn't care about it. I was all like, right. all right, that's your opinion. Cool. Well, my, my problem is we already have enough white people trying to tell us what we can and cannot do. Right. So for Monique to come in and be like, oh my God, yes, sisters, stop wearing bonnets and pajamas in public. It's just like, why, girl, why? So that we can appeal to the white man? Like, I don't give a fuck about the motherfuckers or what they think about me. I, if I'm in the airport, and, and I know that that's been the conversation too. Real quick, I guess, let, let me let me read what she said. She said, I'm not saying you don't have pride, but the representation that you're showing someone will have to ask you to know if you have it. Monique mm. added, it's not to get a man. It's just that your representation of you, my best sweet babies, and I ain't going to hold you. Again, what's in my account, the education that I sat here and busted my ass for is not represented whether I wear a bonnet or not. Bitch, I have pink hair right now. I think she and feels like, yeah, I, but, I, I go back to what you said. It, it's it's that, but it's the pink hair, it's the tattoos, it's the piercings in the nose. I've had people make, make me feel like certain things on me don't represent me as a woman or my education or really what I'm capable of doing because of my appearance. None of that means shit. If I want to wear a bonnet, bitch, I want to land with my fucking edges still laid, bitch, because I'm going to fall asleep as soon right. as we on the goddamn so runway. Before we take off. Before we take off, I'm, I'm sleep. I'm slumped. I'm the Once same I way. get in the seat, I'm it's a wrap. Don't talk to me. That's why I always get a window seat. You, I don't get up. I don't facts, do shit. I don't get up. No, the I don't fact, get I never get up. I, I don't never get nobody. up. I just sleep. Hey, PSA. <laughs> knocked out. PSA. If you have a fucking window seat and you can't control your fucking, fucking bladder, bladder, get a goddamn aisle seat because I don't want to get up in the middle of a goddamn seat. Or just don't sit next to me. You, or I'm not go, getting a, or you better be an acrobat and you better step the fuck over me and not disrupt me <laughs> oh, because wait, you're if one I, of those you're one of those that just don't move you gotta step over me oh, just, you gotta step the fuck over petty. me oh you're petty if I have an aisle seat you're, oh, you're stepping petty. over me you're what? petty but that's no. oh, I pay no. for windows because I don't get up sometimes I don't get a window seat and that's cool but you're petty I, I let them know if they get the window seat hey I don't get up in the middle of flights if you want to swap we can you make them long jump but if over you <laughs> Plane. She said, "Bitch, it's the Olympics if yo, you want to go to the do bathroom." Do not. Don't tap right me. That track star. Don't tap. Yeah, <laughs> she better jump when it She's, gets hot. Yeah, Cirque du Soleil in this bitch. I am asleep. Don't tap me and wake me for nothing. I be pissed. Yeah, don't tell me. Okay, does I don't it. like to be tapped. Oh, do not. But that's what I'm saying. Me. If you in the aisle seat, you trying to? No, bitch. No, I'm. A, I'm gonna look at you. Excuse like, you. I'm gonna look at you just like this and move my thighs just like this. She go. What's wrong with you? Now you make you tap. If you tap Bridget, me to you get got out. thighs. You got thighs in your 5'8. You making me. I'm in, the li- I'm in the life alert ma'am. position. If you hey. gotta get. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Hi. I'm trying to get over. I'm trying to get over. Can you just like. Yeah. You're just trying to I am. go to the bathroom. Excuse I am. Me. Can you I am. Just, I am no. just like this. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> just so that you understand the magnitude of the inconvenience. Why are you late like that? The because life she's alert. annoying. I'm the life alert bitch. Because Bridget's annoying. Because to me, it's so it's so inconsiderate. Like if you sitting and granted, she's okay, in the life alert. You got it. <laughs> that's the position, sis. It's giving. Wait, is that is that problematic? That's what people it's move. It's the life alert commercial, and shit, right? <laughs> it's the button that you press no, when you are in a, a compromising. So bad. No, it's a compromising it position. Trip. <laughs> Ever trip? When you feet. land, call now, life bro, alert. First of all. If you've ever, if you've ever had, because when I, when I, when I herniated my disc and I pinched my sciatic nerve, that was the position Ooh, those are I big was in, words, bro. Bitch, you using big ass. I, don't I injured, no more. I, I injured my crazy. back. No, I injured my back, bitch, and I was in the ER like this. <laughs> you gotta stop. You I gotta didn't stop move. Like this. I literally, it's you gotta stop doing that because I can't stop. Like That's how bad, but it was so bad, and it was, and you couldn't move. I had, they, they I, was, I had a bl- back they gonna, injury. They, they gonna have to blur you out. No, they're not <laughs> on YouTube. I, had, I, think I was imitating myself. I think that's problematic. No, I was imitating myself when I was injured. I could not move from that position. She's when you fall, line. the chalk outline, bitch. When you fall and you stuck like that, if you pull something, if you crack something. You can't move, bro. Whatever position you you land in, that's the life alert position because it's in the commercial. I I'm imitating myself because I had to, I was like that. But I'm just saying, no. The inconsideration for me is just like, bro, don't get up or don't wake me up. My thing is, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. But no, even I, with I, this I, fucking, I wanted even to get with back. this bonnet shit, are you with okay with shit? it or not? You agree with Monique? Go ahead and go ahead and tell him. Go ahead I, and tell him that we disagree yet again. We do disagree <laughs> because I agree with Monique in oh, some, to some degree. So you think your appearance. Like you, is, you don't want to be judged off your appearance. To me, so like, no. Oh, we I, all, I think uh, keep a certain no. I think everybody, to, like, everyone, ratchet everyone who does not make judgment based on appearance is a fucking liar. 
We all pass judgment based on appearance. If you look like you don't give a shit because you got your pajamas on, mind you, I'm going to go ahead and make the distinction because Monique didn't make the distinction. There's a difference between leisure wear and pajamas. There is a big difference. I'm not saying don't wear leggings and sweatpants on the flight. I'm wearing my Lilo and Stitch pajamas, you can be, bitch. No, on you're the plane. not. You're I love not. my Lilo and Stitch pajamas. You're not pants. wearing pajamas on the flight. And my, I'm booty, wearing a onesie. And my booty look fat. I'm wearing a onesie. <laughs> yeah, but you're not. You're not wearing a snuggie. You're not in a Terry Crow. I am. Terry I am. Terry I am. Terry onesie. I am. <laughs> Elmo. Yeah. Elmo. Elmo onesie. The lies. Why? What's the Oli problem? Oli 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 what's the problem though? Because I think if you, I think, I think we ask for, we demand a certain level of respect that if we look like we don't care, then we're not, then, 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 and then, then there's no effort being put forth that we, that, that says that we deserve the respect that we're demanding. And I think every single person needs to be honest with themselves about the fact that we all judge people based on their appearance. We look at white people on all the time who don't wear socks. And guess what? We judging all of them. Do you know, how, them do you the know how many times my Why home I girl over at the white boy? Look, <laughs> oh, oh, we don't look at the parks all the time when we talk about white and black. Parks things. has on socks. Do not get it fucked up. Okay, right? but Dominicans don't wear socks. But you know what? But this is where I call bullshit. Dominicans, on that. Dominicans also are like everybody else in the Caribbean, and they wear braided leather sandals. It's they okay. Do. It's all we right. Do. That's a cultural thing. But I call bullshit on what you just said because my homegirl dates a doctor. They go out labeled out. He's suited up, button up. He's a fucking doctor. And guess what? He still doesn't get the respect, no matter how fly or whatever he's dressed. Because don't he's, know because he's black. Period. Yeah. So it doesn't matter so what. Be, the, so because, but it doesn't matter so because you're black. No, they're not finna respect us regardless. And if that's we can, not true, if Bill Gates can come out here dressed like but a that's fucking. Not, but Mandy, Mandy, a fucking homeless man. Mandy, like, that's not that's not fair. That's no, not fair. it is fair. No, it's not. It is so fair. Because, regardless if so we're hold dressed, on. It, regardless if we're dressed. So because to somebody the nine else or doesn't. Not. So because somebody else doesn't respect you, you're not gonna respect yourself. I'm respecting myself in my pajama pants. I pay for these. If I want to go out in my fucking pajamas or Mandy. I want my hair to be laid, no, what I wear should not determine determine the respect that I get. The same way, and 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 I, and it I can does, take it. Though. No, but I can take it there. The shirt that I'm having on now, I want to wear it. I bought it. I like it. It doesn't mean that I want any. I like any it too, Mandy. But I it think it's a great shirt. shirt but it, thank it's a great you. shirt. It's a tits or titty. But it, but it doesn't mean Sitting that I right. warrant the disrespect from men I'm from not the attention saying, that I'm they not come saying from. it warrants disrespect. What I'm saying to you is, in the outfit you have on right now, in this version of yourself, you were not wearing this with, with a beautiful pink pixie at your corporate job. You were not. You That's why I left them hoes. I know, but what I'm saying... <laughs> But what I'm what I'm saying Fuck to you them. is is there's a difference between but wearing something that you corporate. want. It's not corporate. It's not. But if the excuse is not in business. But that's why I said the, if the excuse is that you just want to be comfortable, cool. Like I said, there's a difference between leisure wear and pajamas. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Go pajamas. Go you, ahead, you wanna, Rosie. I'm most of the time one, you no, want no, a two no. or three hour I'm, flight. I'm gonna say one thing. Help us bring it in. I don't like that. There's even a limitation on what you should wear. Like when they start saying no Thank leggings you. and shit like that. That made me feel like, mm -hmm. go for it. Because they were uncomfortable. Life. That made me feel like yeah. certain place I worked at where the Hennessy was $22. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or like they didn't right. carry Hennessy. Right. Or they'd be like, no caps, no hoodies. I know what you're saying without Exactly. Saying it. Thank you. So you're, pre right. you're basically saying, right. y'all not welcome. Period. Or like, if y'all do want to come here, y'all got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do the third. So the fact that for another what? black woman is out here saying, yeah, well, like she don't been. wear these things that... We know are innate to our culture, like the bonnets and keeping our hair laid and stuff like that. Like, but what? But she. But she also specified that's not what she's and that's not the point that she's making. The point that she's making is you cannot feel you cannot feel a way about someone having an opinion about your appearance if it looks sloppy. You can't if you want to. You were showing up at a job. I'll put it to you this way, right? And this is a generational thing because I remember my dad saying it to me when I was a kid, which is. Take care and concern about what you wear out of this house because you might die in that. That might be the last oh, thing you have on. That. that might be the last thing somebody sees yeah. you in. That might be the last that might be the last representation of yourself on this earth and you want it to count. You want to take pride in your appearance. It's not about shunning what's culturally oh, no. important. Y'all going to use one of these Instagram pictures for my going away. Y'all ain't really going to see my <laughs> outfit that I was in when I died. Because ain't nobody I'm taking so sick of Mandy. <laughs> ain't nobody taking a picture of me when I'm dead. And if I do. Hey, you never know. And, I'm but, just but, but I'm even sick if world now. But, but ain't no. Okay. And I'm, guess just, what? I'm just saying there's a I'm difference. I'm in my bonnet. <laughs> Bitch, y'all knew, knew I wanted my hair laid. Hey, no one's going to be like, oh my God. Can somebody take my bonnet off and take, get a picture of these edges? <laughs> The fuck? You know what I mean? <laughs> when I die, 
Make sure. Make sure these edges, though. <laughs> Bitch, Somebody better come through with the brush. Bitch, these finger but, waves. But also, the, the part that I don't like about this, and I didn't, I, I didn't listen to the whole video. I probably should have, but I only heard this pertaining to women. Can we not listen to it now? It's a ten minute. Affair. Yeah, God, it's like damn. a whole thing. Nah, but I didn't on fucking my pajamas and, in the, and, in and my bonnet. And in the comments, and in the mind com- your business, money. And in the comments, I didn't hear enough about the objection to men and men's level of comfort. I only heard the attack on women in a bonnet. So I don't know if there was mention of men. In the socks and the house shoes, but I'm not a fan of that either. If I'm okay. No, but when Weezy no. posted, when well, Weezy was like, "What she posted?" She was like, "What are you talking about? Bonnet sex is the best sex ever." I was oh, like, well, Yo. she she talking. Now. Well, first off, I ain't fucking in my bonnet. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I am. I just tell you when you can and cannot pull. <laughs> like when my lace wig is down, babe. No, here you can't really. Okay, it's gonna yeah, be if messed I, up. If I have braids, do not touch. Yeah, don't touch. Do not tug on the braids. But no limit. 